BrinTech here where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, Microsoft is going to be completely removing WordPad, which is part of the legacy side of the OS from Windows in Windows 11 24H2. And this is basically after 28 years of WordPad, give or take, being in the Windows OS. Now, I'll leave a couple of WordPad videos in the end screen of this video if you just like to play catch up and get more information. But just to let you know that after Microsoft does remove and completely remove WordPad in Windows 11 24H2, which is going to be this year's annual feature update, there is a way to keep WordPad um, after Microsoft removes it completely from the OS with this year's annual feature update. And it's actually quite simple to do. And that's just to copy the WordPad folder from the actual program files directory and paste it somewhere else into your OS and keep it um, basically separate from the rest of the OS as a backup or in another folder. And you can still use WordPad after it is completely removed from the OS. So how we do this is we head to our file explorer and then head to your C drive and for most people it will be your C drive but whatever drive your OS is installed on you head to program files and if there's any UAC user account control warnings just uh, click your way through those and um, Windows NT and yeah we get accessories and this is where WordPad is located and yes everything to do with WordPad so what you need to do is you just copy this as an example to your downloads or any other folder of your choice there we go and you can come back even after microsoft removes that from windows let's just make that large there we go and we can just double click on that and there we go we can actually launch wordpad and you can see it's opened it up in another i've got two that's the first one i had when it was i launched that um, doing a search and this is WordPad actually launching from my downloads folder where it's now located in that directory. So that's give or take how you can actually open up WordPad after Microsoft removes it from the OS. And I thought I'd just share that with you because I have seen a couple of um, comments on the channel where users are asking a way around this because um, if you are like me, and I know there are some of you according to the comments who do use WordPad, um, I think this will be a nice way basically to keep WordPad forever. Um, after Microsoft does remove it from the OS. But just um, take note, though, that you're not going to get any updates. Um, basically, when you copy this folder over to another directory to keep forever, basically, you are not getting any updates. It's as is. So just take note of that. You're not getting any support or security updates and so on. So that's basically how you can keep Microsoft WordPad after WordPad um, is removed um, with our next annual feature update in Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.